And whose team is this? Is this your team or is this your daddy's team? Thanks for listening to the Dad Mode Podcast, common sense parenting in a politically correct world. Here's your host, Andy Carlson. Welcome back to the Dad Mode Podcast, Common Sense Parenting, the Political Correct World. I'm I'm a father. I have no idea what I'm doing, but you and neither are chiefy, so I'll try and learn something together today. Website is dadmodepod.com. Give us a follow on the old Facebook as well, uh, Dad Mode Podcast. We're back. We're waiting anxiously for child number two to drop his mixtape and, and get all up in it. And we, we've talked in previous shows that I'm excited for the boy. I love the girl to death. She's daddy's little girl and everything like that. But there just is something different uh, about a father uh, and having a son because you do see them as a smaller version of yourself. And hopefully that you can raise them to be a good person uh, that can take your best qualities. They can certainly learn from your mistakes as well. Uh, And you just have a man Uh, a boy who grows into a man and is just a very good member of society, Uh, ideally. And, of course, you want those things for your daughter, too, but (sighs) stuff to explain, I I I guess. But uh, the we've owned a minivan now for, gosh, how long has it been? I want to say, like, four years. It's been quite a stretch. And the the entire thought of it was, and I, I feel like the stigma around it is subsiding, or maybe... I'm just so in the minivan culture now that I don't even care. But uh, re- remember back when in, in the day, say when you're in like your 20s, like, oh, minivans, never driving a minivan. Uh, if I have kids, I'm getting an SUV. I'm getting a truck. I- I'm doing all of those things. But then yeah, just minivans were great. And I-, I think the stigma was less for me because I grew up with a minivan. And I, I learned how to drive uh, on a – it was like a 98 98- Dodge Grand Caravan and it was dark green and that thing was awesome I mean that, that was one of the first vans that had the power doors and you saw that you're like whoa baby that's right and you know I I have zero fault with it and yeah, it does sort of suck in winter but also you do like them because they are a little bit more low slung to the ground than most SUVs and uh, here in Minnesota and if you're listening out of state, you don't have these problems. But you'll notice that when it snows, the cars that go in the ditch are the ones with four-wheel drive and the ones that are top-heavy. And that means SUVs. And a lot of what happens is when you're in an SUV with that four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, you feel indestructible. So you're a little bit too overconfident in those slick roads. And then, then, then you veer off, then you end up in the ditch. Because it was hilarious where it was after a, you know, had a couple inches of snow and also it was icy out and you're driving to the gym, which is probably about, gosh, I want to say like seven miles. We'll say seven miles away. And I saw 10 cars in the ditch. Eight of them were SUVs. (laughs) Uh, One of them was a Mustang, which. I don't know, man. That's not exactly the weather to to bring out the cherry Mustang. Uh, but one of those were in the ditch, and then the other one was just some random sedan. All right, so uh, it's just funny how that goes. But uh, today I got a couple reasons why minivans are, are friggin' awesome, uh, and you should be into. So number one is going to be storage, where you have no idea, like even with just one kid, how much crap they can accumulate and how much stuff that – they need or at least their mother thinks that they need when you're going out so you have a like a trip to the zoo trip to the beach whatever you got the massive stroller which it's nice that they fold up but it's not that they're heavy it's just that they're bulky and awkward that's what she said so you have that in the back and also uh fold down seating is amazing and i i fully understand it's like well you can have the same thing in suv uh Get it. Yeah, I fully understand. Uh, But also, I remember from that Verse minivan I grew up with, they didn't have fold-down seats. You actually have to take out the third seat. So that was a pain in the ass, man. Then you had to go store the seat in, like, the garage or the basement or something like that. Nah, that was no bueno. Uh, But now with with that fold-down third seat, just putting in the stroller, putting in the bags, putting in the snacks, putting in the 
the, 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 the miniature potty that you always take on the go, uh, with the young kid who's just get, who's just almost out of diaper. Nope. She's, she's 95% potty trained. Actually, no, I take that back. She's a hundred percent potty trained, but her timing sometimes is not ideal. So that's why we carry the potty around. Uh, and that is so easy to haul around all over the place when you got that third row seating. And also, uh, with our van, uh, you can fold the, the middle seats down as well. So right now, since you got one kid, um, we got one of the uh, side seats folded down as well. And it's great, uh, especially in the summer. We've been doing some home improvement projects. So when I've been needing to get uh, some some 2 by 4s or some 4 by 8 sheets of uh, plywood or... Uh, sheet rock you can actually just slide it right in the middle of the minivan uh, and it's phenomenal uh in, in that way and, and I, I fully understand like all of these things are a- uh, applicable to a truck and an suv as well fully understand that but also the gas mileage on minivans are, are really phenomenal plus uh, our van is a hybrid so it's got an electric battery also runs off of gas that too so you're getting some massive like 30 35 miles of the gallon. Uh, and that is great. And yeah, uh, you can get a hybrid truck and get a hybrid SUV as well. But even those, even with the hybrid are, are going to be lower, uh, depreciably lower. Uh, same thing with just straight up gas, uh, as well. And then also just the, there, there's a lower cost of getting a van where brand new truck, brand new SUV nowadays. I mean, depending on, uh, the option that you get is going to run you 50 grand. But you get a, a great tricked out minivan, a couple years old. You can get that for twenty grand. You can do that up, or you, you can even go a little bit older. Since vans, uh, they do gr- run great under high mileage if they've been well maintained. So you can get a, I don't know, like a six or seven year old van, like seventy five, eighty thousand miles on for twelve grand. Which, you know, I, I'm not that big of a car person as it is, and actually cars more annoy me than anything because i i don't see them as a status symbol or rather i I don't care about them as a status symbol and uh i'm more pissed off that this is never going to appreciate in value and i I just want to get in and get out as cheap as possible like i'm not down with the lease anything like that but just get me transportation that is safe that is reliable that will be around for a, a spell and, and we can maintain it. It's been well maintained. And also, you know, we can you know, take care of it well and have it run into high mileage. Cause that's all I want because you know, people who buy new cars, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, I, I don't fault them for it, but I, I just don't see myself doing that. I, I just really don't. And, and it's not really, well, it's not really out of a, you know, can't afford a new car thing. It's more of a, I don't want to do it. Because you see the depreciation rate where that $50,000 SUV, the moment you drive it off the lot, that's a $41,000 SUV. And it only gets worse from there. Yeah, Uh, Something that gets better uh, is your teeth. Did you know that your teeth move as they get older? I didn't until I noticed that mine were shifting just a little bit. And I wanted to get my teeth fixed, but not going to wear braces at my age. And then I heard about Candid, the clear alternative to braces and I'm all in. Uh, Candid has an experienced orthodontist who is licensed in your state create a treatment plan for you. They create a 3D preview of how your teeth will look after the treatment is done. Candid did it for me. So easy. Comes right in the mail and you send it right in and it's just amazing. Now that I approve my 3D preview, Candid is creating custom clear aligners and sending them directly to me. There's no hassle of going to the orthodontist office. Uh, We we can get you in at uh, Tuesday in seven months. Uh, Yeah, okay. Uh, plus, Candid costs 65% less than braces. And for every aligner purchase, Candid donates $25 to Smile Train, who brings safe, 100% free cleft lip and palate treatment to children around the globe. Uh, now, get straighter, brighter teeth in an average of just six months. Learn more at CandidCo.com, CandidCo.com slash dad mode, or just use promo code dad mode to get $75 off. That's CandidCo.com slash dad mode or promo code dad mode for $75 off. So get back to the van thing where I, I, I'm still wondering where that stigma came from, where it's like, oh, the suburban dad and you, you got the, you got the white new balance shoes and you got the, uh, the calf high tube socks and you got your, uh, khaki, uh, khaki shorts 
and you got the t-shirt tucked into the shorts and you got your gunt just like hanging over the front of those shorts. You got a Nautica belt. You, you got your cell phone and a belt holster strapped to your belt. That's how it is. You, you got a, you got a hat with a funny saying on it. Probably got a fishing lure on the front. Yeah. It's the dad life, but the, I don't know. Like, I, I just don't see the downside of the minivan. And it may just be now that I'm surrounded by other dads and other parents and everyone's rocking the minivan or the, the Yukon or the Tahoe or whatever. And yeah, I'm just completely cool with it. Plus it's great. Um, kids get older. They got bikes. You got to throw the bikes in the back. Or if you're going on a big family trip and you got all the bags in the back and you pile them up. And then also the, the fact that, we got kid number two on the way, put them in the other captain's chair in the middle and you're good to go. And also, I mean, vans nowadays are super tricked out they got all the adapters. They got all the plugins that you need. They got the drop down Blu-ray player stuff. Now, even some of them even have Wi-Fi. where uh, the model that we have, gosh, what do we have? I think we have a 2012, something like that. Uh, doesn't quite have the Wi-Fi, but also, I don't really see the need for it at, at this point, but also yeah, the kid, I mean, yeah, the kid likes the tablet. The kid likes, you know, doodling on the cell phone, watching, you know, true, true uh, on Netflix, but overall it isn't a, she hasn't gotten to the, the kids very heavy in technology point yet. And also, I don't know if I wanted doing uh, doodling on the Wi-Fi up to a certain point, uh, up to a certain age yet, because right now on Netflix, you can download stuff uh, for offline viewing, which is amazing. Uh, that, that's really great. So if you have a long drive uh, ahead of you, say you got like a, a four-hour drive, you just download a bunch of episodes and you're good to go. You don't really need to worry uh, about the Wi-Fi, but uh, it, it is, they, they are pretty luxurious, not going to lie. And also, uh, I do like sitting up higher on the road where we can tell a big difference when you go from driving the van down to driving the 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 car and just how, how you look at the road. Plus I'm not going to lie. I, I take a bit of a perverse pr- pleasure when you you're on the highway or you're at a stoplight, especially if you're at a stoplight where it merges into one lane really quick. And then all of a sudden you know, the dude in the Mustang or the vet or the whatever car du jour is blown off the line by the dude in the grand caravan. Yeah, that's me just gunning it, baby. Or you know, on the highway, uh, and you're, you're getting passed by the caravan that's going 85. Vroom. Bring it on, baby. Yeah, that, that's right. And of course, uh, all the safety precautions. Yeah, with the with the airbags, with the crumple zones, with all, with all that stuff. Like, I I just want to check the box when it comes to safety. Like, I really don't care about stylishness. Well, I'll, I'll take that back. Rust bothers me. So not going to buy a, a rot, rusted out hunk of junk. It ain't like that. But I could care less about car color or interior or you know, w- whatever they're doing, a premium sound system. Like, who cares? I don't really care uh, anymore. So maybe that is the, the old man part uh, of the bit. But uh, I'm rolling the minivan until at least the kids are out of college. Well, I- I'm getting a truck. So everything I've said, just take with a massive grain of salt. <laughs> I'm getting a truck for hunting season, but, uh, that is it. Uh, your thoughts on the old minivan, uh, let us know in the comment section or tweet at us or post on the Facebook page. Uh, we're out of here. Tell a friend, spread the word amongst your dad and parent groups. Shows available on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio as well. Uh, and the website as always, dadmodepod.com. But till next time, be a man, be a father, go dad mode. And we'll smell you later. Think the episode you just heard is worth a dollar. Well, send it our way. Visit dadmodepod.com slash support to find out how. Be a man. Be a father. Go dad mode.
The music is created and produced by Deeb. To hear more of his tracks, visit soundcloud.com slash Deeb.